Today I'm going to show you how I found and repaired a leak in our irrigation network. The tricky part was finding the leak and I'm going to tell you the story. This area has been really wet lately. A week ago there were puddles right throughout this area and frogs singing loudly at night right outside our bedroom. We've had quite a lot of rain over the last couple of months and there weren't puddles before that so we thought our clay soil was just having a hard time draining the water away. But then, a week ago, our kids showed us a little water feature in one of the puddles. The water was bubbling up. It was bubbling up over this area of pipes and services. So I thought, good, we'll be able to solve this drainage issue. This area had recently been dug up to lay an electricity supply cable, so I knew what was here and I was expecting the issue to be easily solved. First thing I did was turn off the irrigation pump to see if that stopped the water bubbling up so that we knew which network was leaking. It could have been the tank water network supplying our house or the irrigation network pump from our dam. And there's also rainwater harvesting pipes and sewer pipes too, but sure enough, when we turned off the irrigation pump and let out the pressure vessel by leaving a tap on, the bubbling water stopped. So that narrowed it down. Now to just dig the hole and find the leaking irrigation pipe. Now, I'm telling you the story with pictures all taken after the leak was fixed, but before backfilling, but I'm sure you'll follow along as I explain what I did. So I dug down in the irrigation pipe here. It looks a bit out of shape. I turned the pump back on, expecting to see water shoot out the squashed black pipe, but instead, water was trickling out this old stormwater pipe. We had an old pipe here taking roof water to a tank about 10 meters away that we've since removed and we've redone our roof and, and rainwater harvesting pipes so that's why we just cut through this pipe and left bits of it in the ground but why on earth is water coming out of this pipe here? so we still knew that the leak must be from the irrigation system as this only flows when the irrigation pump is on but where's the leak and why this cross connection? so to find the leak I made the assumption that the leak is somewhere along this stormwater pipe so I dug holes along it put a break in the stormwater line at each hole and ran the pump each time to narrow down where the leak was. And I had to do a lot of pumping out of water as the ground was quite waterlogged. The water table was pretty high. Eventually, I narrowed it down to this length here. The leak should be here. I found another branch of the irrigation net pipe network just under the stormwater pipe. It had previously been repaired here and the first joint was leaking. And when I removed the stormwater pipe, sure enough, there was a hole in the bottom of it. The water was coming up through the soil from the irrigation pipe into the old broken stormwater pipe. So I found the leak in the in the repair joint right here. This is my new repair, but the original repair used a different diameter pipe and also three joiners. Here they are to get a makeshift slip joint fitting. First, I tried undoing the joint, inspecting and cleaning it, then tightening it again to see if that would resolve the leak. But it didn't make a difference. I took the joint apart again and discovered by feeling around it that the pipe was split under the joint parallel with the direction of the pipe. So I couldn't see the defect, but my fingers could feel it. So I took out all the old repair job and put in a new slip joint repair system combined with other fittings and spare pipe that we had. The total cost of the repair was $55, the cost of the telescopic slip joint. I bought it at Reese. Here's how the slip joint works. I copied this animation from a Geico video there's a link in the description to their full video. And there's a great tool for tightening these fittings. It's an Irwin strap wrench that I got at Bunnings a while ago. We've repaired a few leaks and breaks in our irrigation system and haven't had any issues with the Geico slip joint, which we use every time. But I have to say, this was definitely the hardest of all the leaks that I've found. So there you have it, job done, leak repaired and boggy yard problem solved too. Now I just need to backfill all those holes and hope the lawn grows back nicely.